Scotty back out bullion here. Now you see laid out before you 100 100 gram silver forum bars plus two, the 2017 and 18 versions. They've just come back from the Edinburgh Ass office with their lovely nice hallmarks right in the centre there, looking absolutely gorgeous, really happy with all of these. But there is a task which I've been putting off for far too long and that is putting all of these serial numbers on the side of these bars. So in previous years we've done it in this format, six chops, 100 bars, that's 600 stamps I have to do today. We're going to do a little bit of a stamping session in a moment, but before we get to that, I just want to give you all a quick reminder that this is the last weekend in the pre-order period. As of the 2nd of September, we will not be able to guarantee anybody with a 2018 bar the same serial number in 2019. Lots of people have already been getting in touch in this pre-order period, and a massive thank you to all of you for that. It's really, really appreciated. There is going to be room for new people though, that's important. There's not always everybody taking up their bars. There will be people who take up fewer or not at all. So there will be bars available. If you want to get on the waiting list, please get in touch as soon as possible. General release day is going to be the 7th of September. Although if you've pre-ordered, they will be shipping next week. So if you're interested, get in touch. Otherwise, you can sit back and wait for the general release day, which will be the 7th of September. I'll be doing a video next week talking about these bars when they're all done and dusted, and that will be the general release day. Otherwise, let's get on with the stamping. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. So here we are at the stamping bench, and we've got a monumental task ahead of us today. We've got to put the serial numbers on all 100 of these 100 gram bars and each bar has six individual chops that needs doing you can see the format here n o dot and then the serial number so 100 bars six stamps a bar 600 stamps i have no doubt it's going to take me quite a while and uh, probably annoy the next door neighbors as well but it needs doing and it's something i've been putting off which is why they've not been done yet as i was creating these bars I just didn't do it and then I put it off a bit more before sending them up to Edinburgh and then all of a sudden I sent them to Edinburgh and they weren't done and I knew at some point I'd have to do it so no time like the present let's crack on with it so we need to create a bit of space first now I'm not going to do all of these bars here today I thought I'd just share a little bit of the process of how they're done because it really is you know, basically just me cracking on with it and creating all of these serial numbers um, you know, I can improve my efficiency somewhat by doing this. So I'm basically going to stack five bars at a time. And then one of the biggest, and this is a little sort of tip for any silver stampers out there. One of the problems with big runs like this and serial number runs is if you do each individual one, you go N and then find your next one, O, dot, and so on. It takes so much time going back and forward and it really does save a lot of time and energy to have them lined up like this and just go bosh 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 and you'll see how we do that in a moment but I always want to make sure that we put the serial number on the same side of the bars so we're making sure that they are in this uh, format with the 100 gram at the top there and then it's on the left hand side of the bar now one of the disadvantages for me of having uh, not done all of these before they went to Edinburgh is if I mess them up, we're a bit stuck short because I don't have any spares and uh, if we mess them up they will either have to be sold as an error, which I don't like the idea of, I'd much rather make sure everything is as perfect as it can be before we go forward with that. So basically we need to have not only a large amount of manual labour here today, but we also have to have pretty significant concentration levels to make sure that the stamps don't mess up, that they're the right way round, uh, that we're using the correct stamps, the numbers are correct, the sequence of the numbers are correct as well. There's a fair amount of things that could go wrong and uh, it's quite nerve-wracking to do it, especially as I'm doing it here on camera as well, because if I make a mistake right now on camera, there's no hiding it. So there we go, that's N-O, and then we're gonna start right at the beginning. So these are bars numbers one to, or zero, no, one to five, sorry, we don't have a zero, 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 but they do all start with zero, zero, so we can knock on through these quite quickly with the zero stamp. So you can see that we put 
an awful lot of work into these bars and a lot of care and attention into them as well. And um, that's what I think makes them a little bit different and a little bit special. It's really fulfilling to see how they all look when they're finished. And it's really nice to see the progression as well on these as my skill has improved over this last three years of doing them. This is the third iteration now that we've got on these 100 gram bars. So here we go, this is number one. Number one sadly is never for sale because that is always going to go to Chris Silver, the owner of the forum. And number two, that's my bar. I always keep number two for myself. Got a bit of tape on the bottom there from the Edinburgh Assay Office. There's number two, that's my bar. And um, yeah, so care and attention, making sure that everything is correct and done and right is really important to us. And it's something that we're going to continue to do into the future. Now, one thing that I have considered is getting a all-in-one sort of serial number stamp, so NO. I'd like to know your guys' opinions on that. Do you prefer? Because, I mean, one thing that's really great about these is we do have, you know, significant amounts of improved efficiency and improved aesthetics. But it does, you know, it cuts down a lot of the work. And these are these were always meant to be, you know, premium bars that we have put literally blood, sweat and tears into. And if we just, you know, the first year I did them, first year I did them, we did so many stamps on them. So let's count them. We would have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then six. So 15 stamps on them. You know, we're talking like over 2,000 stamps all told for all of the, uh, the bars that we created. So, you know, it was a labour of love, putting it one way. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. An all-in-one NO stamp would look good, I think, but these look pretty tidy. I'm quite happy with the way those are looking, so I'm not sure it's really needed. And stamps these days are not cheap, these all-in-one stamps that we've had um, done before. So here's a prime example, 2019 stamps, small and large. All told, those are about, that's about £190 worth of engineering and metalworking and stamping going on there. So not a cheap prospect to look to do, but um, maybe it's worth it in the long run, I don't know. So here we now have the next five, and it's important, again, concentration is really key here, because the next, uh, well, one of the ones at the end here is going to be number 10, so it doesn't start with the serial number double zero. So this process that I'm using here is very efficient. As you can see, I'm not having to waste a lot of time going backwards and forwards to different stamps. But it does have its risks if you don't hold your concentration levels. And stamping is not an easy thing at the best of times either. And it really does come with experience. So if you are a silver stamper out there, you see, th simple things like that can really potentially do you in. But fortunately, these bars are quite robust as they're hand poured silver. But you do need to be careful with them. So if you are a button silver pourer and stamper and you're struggling with stamping, because I struggled with stamping for an awful long time, my advice to you is practice, practice, practice. Get some of your pieces that you've made which are perhaps not perfect or perhaps one that you've messed up a stamp on. And before you remelt it and start again, just have a good old whack on it with some different stamps. Try different things. Learn how the silver reacts to the chops, to the hammer, and just absorb that knowledge. That's what I've done. It's really, really helpful. So, right, just double check that we say five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can still go double zero on this one. And this is going to be zero. Space for a one. And zero. Oh, and we've got double zero on this one. Nearly missed that. You see, look at that. Concentration is key. And it's difficult to do when you're filming as well. So yeah, get a, uh, a scrap piece of silver and just go to town on it and experiment with it and see how it looks and feels and see how the 
stamps form on it as you go. So six, seven, eight, and then we can turn the six around and do number nine here. And uh, you'll get untold amounts of experience from doing that. That's one of the top tips that I was given early on. And it's one which I really do swear by. So that's number seven, number eight. And then finally, number 10. So there we go, that's the first 10. And uh, just like that, they form together and they look really very cool indeed. I'm really super happy with the way those are looking. I've just got another 90 to go. So I'm not going to do all of them here, uh, but I will show you all of them again, finished and done at the end of this video. So I'll uh, catch you in a moment. So here we have 100 bars all stamped with their serial numbers. I'm very happy to say I didn't make any mistakes or mess ups, which is very good because I didn't have any spares, as I said, so that's a weight off my shoulders. But we are by no means finished with these bars. The next step is to give them all a once over and clean them and then polish them. And just make sure there's no like graphite pollution on the bars. So you can see here on this one, just at the top of the 100 there, there's a tiny little bit of graphite still on there. And we wanna make sure that each bar looks as good as it possibly can be. So that's the next step, which is a good clean and polish. And then the last step, which is, I think probably my least favorite part of the whole process is creating the photographic database for all of these bars. Every single one is different. You know, they vary a little bit in weight, but they also vary quite considerably in the ripple patterns. Every single one is pretty much unique. So it's really nice to be able to create a photo database of all of these pieces. We've done it for the previous years. Owners can go and see their bars, or if you're a prospective owner of a bar that's already out there, you can verify that it's genuine on that photo database. So I think it's a really important step, but it's quite laborious. 100 photos of 100 bars. It takes a lot of time and then editing the photos, making sure they're all in the right format and size and positioning and everything. And then getting it all uploaded to the website takes an awful lot of time. So that's my least favorite part of the whole process. But basically once we've done with that, they're going to be available. Now this weekend marks the final chance that owners of previous year's serial numbers have to pre-order and reserve these numbers. There's been quite a few actually quite a lot of people who've taken up numbers already. We've also got quite a few people on the waiting list for available numbers when uh, they become on general sale. What we're going to be doing is on the 2nd of September, so Monday the 2nd, that's when it closes. So if you are watching this video today and you've got a bar from a previous year, get in touch as soon as possible if you want one because on Monday that will be not guaranteed any longer. We'll then contact all the people on the waiting list so far if you wanna get on that waiting list, just get in touch. We'll contact you, we'll get you a serial number of what's available. Then, next weekend, so Saturday next weekend, which is going to be, just looking at the calendar, Saturday the 7th is going to be general release sale day. I'm going to put all of the available serial numbers that we'll have left on my website. I'll put a video out on Saturday next week to remind anybody who might want to be reminded and then it's free for all. Then it's just general sale. Off you go, purchase what is left. I don't know how many or what numbers will be left at that time. I hope there'll still be some, otherwise it will be a bit of a useless video going out next Saturday, but hopefully there'll be some numbers there. So yeah, that's where we are with them. Very nearly done and I'm really, really excited with them and the way they're looking. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you hit that like button and share it around on your social media. That'd be very helpful for everything that we do here on the channel. If you wanna get notifications when we upload videos, subscribe and then hit the alarm bell. Otherwise, have a fantastic weekend and week ahead. Thank you one and all for watching and please make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.